Yo, 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 this is King Runner coming to y'all live and direct. I wanted to speak on Blue Da Vinci and Calvin Klein. Everyone says, oh, they're not snitches, they're not rats. Um, I want to see the paperwork, uh, this, that, and the third, and blah, blah, blah. Who said they were a rat? Who said they corroborated? What's the difference? A lot of people want to know that. There is no difference. If you're corroborating with authorities, that means you're working for them. Or let's not say that you're working for them. You're with them without pay. This is it here. Calvin Klein himself spoke on thisis50.com speaking with Jack Thriller. On this interview, the first thing Calvin Klein done was say to him, I need to ask you to ask me the right questions. When he said that to him, Jack Thurler was kind of being respectful. He said, ah, you sure? He said, let me cut the joint off real quick. He said, we right back. When he come back, he asks him about him being a snitch. He said, listen, I never told on anybody this, that, the third. Um, it's a guy by the name of Eli who actually was a rat before he told on, who, who claimed I told on him, but he was a rat prior to that. And it just got a little, you know, crazy. And he said that the guy Eli was an individual who was a friend of his that claims that Calvin Klein told on him, right? Calvin Klein says that guy that's claiming that is an individual, right? Who was a rat prior. But he also said, if you listen to it, that he can only see one person that says he's a rat. He can only understand but he can clear that up. But yet he keep making an accusation that how can a, another rat claim that he is a rat and try to get stripes off of that? My thing is this, when he went further on to it, he said that they asked him to corroborate and when they asked him to corroborate, they asked him about two individuals, Jay-Z and 50 Cent. He said the conversation went just like this. Well, how about we put $250 million in your account? If, the, if you can get $250 million in your account, you said, no, 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 no. I'm just allowing y'all to know that nobody that don't even have any real money can get next to Jay-Z. You got to at least be worth $250 million. And they agreed to put $250 million in my account. Now, pause for one second here. Let's rewind. When that went down, when they said to you, Calvin Klein, I'm speaking to you right now. When they said to you about Jay-Z, how did y'all get that far about the money? How did that happen? I'm waiting for your comment here. And all the people that are saying that um, he was not corroborated, he didn't bite the cheese, I'm going to put it into my description. And in this video, I'm going to allow your guys to know that this is what he said. He confessed to this, and he still, he said when they asked him about 50 Cent, he thought they was talking about, the, they must have been talking about, because he used to mention the real 50 Cent at the time, that they thought he was talking about the rapper 50 Cent. But he still never said who he corroborated on, because he said he corroborated. Now I'm confused. You saying answering the questions, period, is what you consider corroboration? I need to understand. Because if you're saying that, and you're saying that at the end of this conversation with you and these federalities that had a long, you know, big conversation, that at the end of it, you was basically, you know, you didn't corroborate. I mean, I don't know. Did you corroborate? Because you said it. You said that you did. I'm confused. And I'm pretty sure that everybody in the comments that are down there, they're saying, King Erna, King Erna, King Erna. He didn't snitch. He didn't tell. Well, I'm going to let all my subscribers know and everybody that's watching that. Don't be tricked by those type of games. Number one rule is this. And this goes out to the youngins, too, that want to reserve their rights and anybody who want to reserve their rights. If they're coming to get you for anything, your answer should be to them. When they ask you anything, I'm pretty sure you guys got all the answers 
or else you guys wouldn't have a warrant for my arrest. So I'd appreciate it if I either go in front of the magistrate, get my bell, hopefully some of some individuals can bail out. If you can't, lay down, take the ride, and when you're set free for your innocence, good. If you're not, you will be going to jail for however long. And guess what? You have to deal with that. No one has to do with that. No one else has anything to do with what you have to deal with. You see, it's you that have to deal with that. Blue Da Vinci, same thing. Same thing. You know, his thing is this. Nobody never seen no paperwork on me. Why is it that they all say that first? Like as if they have a jug or something that they already had lined up knowing that their name wasn't going to be on any paperwork. But guess what I wanted you individuals to understand? Sometimes rats' names aren't on paperwork, not all paperwork. You know why I say that? You have individuals that are called confidential informants. I'm going to tell you how they breed them, how they usually birthed. An individual goes and drives to meet another individual that's quote unquote his friend. And he serves him. Now, during that course of a day, that individual may have served about 20 or 30 people, right? And the government knows this. So they'll send their little person in and that person to be somebody that they serve within the last three times of the people he served after the fact. And boom, here they go run it down. And when they run down, all that person paperwork is going to say is confidential informant. When an individual see that they really got like that, they think about the 30 people that they might have dealt with that day and say, damn, I can't really say. I'm going to go off of principles and off of certain rules and they measure it up. He ain't going to tell on me. He ain't. And they don't know who really told on them. But if you're a smart individual, you'll know about the people you deal with and you'll remember certain things. And those certain things will be right there in that indictment or in those, in those documents that you got to go to court, your discovery. You just miss it. A lot do it. Da Vinci, Blue Da Vinci, he said the same thing. And he even has the look of a rat like he's turning into one. He said, man, he leaned on the couch at, with Vlad and said, man, I, don't, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I, you ain't gonna never see my name on no paperwork. Why does people say that first? Why isn't it, you know, like, damn, who said that? All right, I want to get to him because at the end of the day, when somebody says it and it's not correct, you're not worried about putting out that your name ain't on nothing because it's like, you know that ain't happening. I need to address the individual that's putting it out. And at the end of the day, everybody got to understand it's dumb individuals that's putting it out. It's dumb themselves. If you get in front of the camera and you sit there in front of the camera on the interview and you say, I didn't snitch, I corroborated with authorities. When you're in the streets, what do you do? You barely want to tell a cop with directions. If a cop pulled up on you like, yo, where this at? Or if a cop be damn near dead in the streets, people almost walk by that's in the streets. So at the end of the day, what makes you think that it's okay to corroborate with authorities? What makes you think that it's okay to use that word? Now, in the federal system, I understand the plea agreement thing. As a co-defendant, I don't understand. If I was ever a co-defendant, I would never ever give authority to me and my co-defendant to plead out without me and that person having a conversation and an understanding. And that understanding is that his lawyer doesn't throw me under the bus if we have separate trials or when you cooperate. But you got to understand, if you're going to take it, I want for you to get up there on that stand and I want for you to come to my court hearing and say, yeah, I've done all that. If you cooperate, I mean, if you um, accept the plea, and we co-defendants, I want for you to come to my trial and tell them people the truth then. Because you obviously done it and I didn't. So you need to come and you need to speak up for me. And that's what we missing. We missing people telling the truth for individuals, you know what I'm saying? A dude to be riding with a dude and a person to have a gun and that individual don't got nothing to do with the gun and a person to go ahead and let them go to jail. No, that day, right then there and there, in that second, if I'm the one who has the gun, it's like officer. Nick's all that. This is my guy. He's a positive dude. Mm -mm. He didn't do any of this. He didn't do none of that. They probably going to nine times out of ten still arrest that individual. 
But guess what? It's a time for trial. It's a time for you to speak up. So that means that you got to keep your honor intact and stand on your word because that individual could lose that freedom. Then it's another way where you can just say after that individual when people have done that. And two individuals, they might not speak in the yard or none of that. But both of them will wind up going to trial together. After the trial, win, lose, or draw, they cuss each other out, but still in love and hug and say, man, don't put me in that position no more. Because that's what real men do. You know, we don't talk about cooperation if only people that should be cooperating, and I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all, is these children. These children that's in trouble, that don't know nothing, right? That's in school. Something come happen. Yo, and I'm just an innocent individual. Somebody come in there and murder everybody in school. I'm just an individual. An a, a, a innocent guy. That's where you are here to understand corroboration. You will understand it. These kids been through this. These kids, I, I don't authorize them to tell, but I authorize them to say, all I know is that we were sitting here and bullets started flying through the classroom. That to me is corroborating. That's you being nice to an officer. I don't know what happened. I just know I was in class minding my business. A guy who's on his way to college. A guy who has no, no, no form of field to being in negativity. But an individual that's been in shootouts and shot and sold drugs. You happen to be in that classroom, you need to mind your damn business. You need to take them shots and go because you didn't done enough crime yourself and people could have buried you also, but they didn't. But at the end of the day, I'd rather for you to wrestle with that guy with that gun than you to come and propagate like you some type of gangster after you told on that individual when at the end of the day, guess what? You're the same one that's running around here doing all the negativity. It's two different understandings of people. You got a rat and you got a snitch, you know? Snitch can give, it, it can really fit under the category of certain things that rats do. But majority of the time, a snitch can be an individual that has nothing to do with the streets, you know? Those snitches aren't to be harmed. That's why they call snitches. You know, that's what they do. They are a town watch. They are your mother, the older lady who goes to work every day and someone robs her. Of course, you're gonna be upset out looking for that individual. But nine times out of ten, mommy gonna go point the stand out if your mom is a stand up and down person that never been into the streets. Unlike my mother. My mother ain't gonna do it. But what I'm saying is that at the end of the day, overall, it's not about the snitches and the rats. It's about the youngins getting the understanding that they shouldn't be around none of this stuff, man. Because that's what it causes. It causes confusion. It causes, oh, you done this, you done that. So youngin who may have sold a little bit of drugs, got into a little altercation, but really ain't a street dude, you need to go ahead and not be a street dude at all, period. Because when it comes down, you're going to be held accountable as a street guy. But you need to change your life. Because if you don't change your life, you're going to be going through the same things that I went through and the same things you see some of your hom homies go through. Trial, people ratting on them, the same dudes that were shooting with them, and them losing their lives, opposed to... You ain't being able to get a college education and stepping up that ladder each time. I don't care if you've been in trouble, even if you've been locked up. The goal is to come away from that. You see what your family had to put out? Imagine you coming 18, 21, and you got to put that damn money out. Now it becomes a problem, but you don't got no problem with mommy, grandma, and auntie and all them putting the money out. So don't even go that route. You know, I don't care if you had a fender bender. That don't mean you got to continue to go that way. You don't got to continue to do crime. Take your time back up off of it and build your education. After the education come, get you a business. I don't care if you go to be a lawyer and you don't pass the bar exam test. You still have made it to an understanding of knowledge of certain things. So you could go be a paralegal and still get a lot of money. You can't just give up. But when you got dudes like Calvin Kahn, who's in the game at that time, talking all this nonsense about he cooperated, and then you got a Blue Da Vinci who just... Don't even care about his fans or his supporters because I see the fans and the supporters that honor this bull. And for the most part, he don't care about none of that. You see, his thing is money. And that's what happened with individuals and youngins. Y'all got to pay attention to this because a lot of individuals are just be around dudes for money and get caught up in the indictment. 
You know how many barbers I know that may have been in the federal penitentiary just because they allow a dude from the streets to chill in their barbershop and hide drugs and hide guns and their stuff? And then before you know it, dudes using their phone. Let me see your phone real quick. They calling brick cells up and all that over their phone. Now the phone is being caught up in an indictment. That barber who's cut hair all his life end up in a bad situation. They say, Kurt, Kurt Mills, guy that I kind of grew up in my neighborhood with a little bit. He get caught up in selling drugs. Here, here's the picture of him, right? Who's an individual who was, must have been spoiled or always, somebody always showed him some love because he always had the best of things. But yet he wanted to be down with the in crowd. He wanted to be closely attached to individuals that sold drugs and that was in the in crowd. You know what that got him? That got him a bit because he became them people. He wanted to be just like them, opposed to Lid. And everybody go follow my brother, Khalid the Barber, on Instagram. He was an individual. Guess what? The honor was already running in his veins. He could have went straight to negativity. But he didn't. You know what he done? He stayed on top of him being a barber. And if we came in that barber shop, even when we was high and we was out of pocket when we was young boys, he would whisper in our ears, yo, get it together. You tripping, yo. You got drawn. For the most part, he for us. He loves us because he know he don't want to go against his brothers when it comes to negativity. So we know the crime we're doing, but because we wouldn't listen, he always made sure he told us the right thing to do. But you had them other dudes that wanted to be down. So you got to remember these type of individuals, youngin. You got the dude who's, who works also. Then you got the other guy who work. But this guy who's cutting hair, he's seeing the girls, he's seeing the butts, and he see that money is it. When you got this one, who's always done something legal in his life, got an upbringing, could go into negativity and probably be prosperous there, but said, you know what? I ain't going that route. You know why? Because I'm fashionable and I can make the drug dealers want to buy what I'm wearing. I'm my own person in my own skin. You don't have individuals like that in our lifetime anymore. You have everybody trying to be down. And that's what went on with individuals. Their whole circle probably was individuals that wanted to be down. But I can say this. And I'm, and I'm, clu I'm including Jay-Z. But I'm giving him the honors on this tip. He straightened his life out and became something bigger and better. And that's the role model of the individual that is in the ghetto. Because 95% of our children are into something negative, whether you want to believe it or not. And you have to understand that this has to be taught to them. They have to be set down. Someone has to steadily be in their ear about it because if they're not, guess what? They're going to either be a me, a person that went to jail, all that. And I, like I said, I had co-defendants when I was probably a baby. As an adult, I had no adult case that had a co-defendant to it, attached to it. None of them. None. Because I always knew if you don't do it by yourself, you got a chance of people putting things on you. So it was easy for me to say, I plead guilty, Your Honor. Get the three-point reduction, which is legal. It's no crime. Just take me on the guideline a little bit. Bring you to a 24 or so and all the way across the grid. Because I'm all the way across. But at the end of the day, I accepted my responsibility. I didn't put responsibility on other grown men. And that's what he's doing. That's what Blue is doing. Everybody keeps saying his brother Terry brought it down. But I don't hear nobody saying his brother Terry was a rat. Everybody got to understand, each man is responsible for one another in it. So if a person meets somebody that ain't cool, that's, a, that, that's messed up, that's a part of the game. You can't be mad at um, um, meets brother. How? Everybody make mistakes. That's a part of it. And youngest, that's what the feds are trying to do. Yeah, they'll point it to your head, rumors out. They put the rumors out. Yeah, that person said this, that person said that. Before you know it, everybody telling on that person, no. And that's why I tell you for what I tell them. The ones that's caught up, you got a chance still. Get out of it, man. It ain't no honor to it. And guess what? You never get a chance to keep your coins. When they catch you as theirs and while you out here as theirs. 
And you're going to have individuals like Calvin Klein that's amongst your squad. And you got to watch it because they're too slick. They try to be too cool. They're trying to do other things. And still he hasn't. And Jack Thurler, no, I'm not saying a lie here. I have nothing against him. His honor is through the moon as far as I hear about him in New York City. But what I want to say to Jack is, Jack, you know darn well he ain't, asked that, he ain't answered that question. He didn't answer it. He never said who he corroborated on. He never said what he corroborated with. He said what he denied. So that means if you deny him, you won't go to JC with the $250, $250 million in your bank account. That means you're not corroborating. If you don't mention anything about the rap for 50 Cent, because you said they that's what they wanted you to corroborate with. Or is this a story that you try to make up so you try to make Jay and them feel like, you know, yeah, he was thorough, you know what I'm saying? No, it was all good a week ago. Right, it was all good a week ago. Hand out, hand out weirdos. You see what I'm saying? Stay in your lane. This is what you upon? Nobody got nothing against you or got nothing disrespectful to say about you. But if you're confessing the stuff, you can't be mad at nobody for putting you out there on what you said. It's children watching. And more than anything, those children, parents are watching. You'll make what you're doing fair seeming, and it's not fair. You don't choose crime if you don't want to do time. That's bottom line. I'm King Erner from the Honor Your Life campaign. Get those type of guys like Blue Da Vinci, Calvin Klein out of your mindset. Get them out of your head because they got no honor.